thoughts on the in-season tournament, just kind of generally? It's actually um, it's pretty exciting to think about it. Um, adds another layer to you know, an 82-game season where th those games hopefully will be incentivized. Um, not sure how it's going to feel or how it shakes out, but I do think um, for fans, you know, for the you know players, it's going to add a little bit of mo you know motive. Are you guys kind of the when I'm thinking about it, it's kind of a perfect team that this is for, where contending is not necessarily the first priority at the end of the season. So you have a little kind of carrot <laughs> and something to get you excited. Yeah, I mean, I, why not? Let's, let, this is a great <laughs> opportunity. Um, and we want. But we want to attack, you know, each one of these as, as something. They're all meaningful. Um, but to have an opportunity to compete for something mid-season, I think, is, is unique. You, know, you see how it plays out in other leagues around the world. It does drum up excitement, um, galvanizes the fan base a little bit, and players team, seem to dive into it. Do you get paid also if you guys win? Correct, yes. That's fantastic. Good for you. It's good. <laughs> um, what do you think of the court? Yeah, you know what? It's pretty cool. They, they sent us the markups for all 30 teams, mm -hmm. and some of them are a little loud, but um, it does, once again, no it does. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> um, but it, it is interesting, the, uh, some of the selections, but it does change the vibe a little bit. Mm -hmm. I look forward to see the polos matching. <laughs> yes, absolutely. With Cruz running the five a little bit, smaller lineup, um, also running some zone, interesting or intriguing is it for you to be able to experiment with a lot of different things with your defensive schemes? Yeah, you know, you don't get a ton of opportunities throughout the year. But usually it's, you know, something happens, guys go down. Um, times you're going to need it in a crunch, you know, in a short segment of a game to figure out, can we speed a team up? Does downsizing help us offensively? Um, unfortunately, with Gaff out, we felt, you know, it was the best opportunity for us to switch and having positional size out there would, you know, would help facilitate that. But um, to, those, to their credit, you know, it started, you know, rough. It, it got progressively better, but you know that unit hadn't played, you know, as a five-man rotation at all yet. So they're figuring each other out and kind of, you know, uh, you know, maximizing those opportunities. Uh, probably see it again at some point, but you know, he's played five for worse in the past. So that small ball five is unique. He's got the ability to handle most fives, you know, defensively with his size, 6'10", and he's mobile. Um, and he can switch on to most perimeter players and handle those guys as well. On the flip side, it gives us, you know, another playmaker, another guy who can stretch the defense, play off the bounce and make plays. So I think there, there's something to it. What do you think about the contract options? You, Yo, you know, it's good. You know, I think it's a, uh, it's a positive. We want to make sure we continue to invest in those guys and, to see them, you know, get a little bit more security, I think, is part of it. But um, we all have a lot of work, you know, in front of us to do. Um, and to know that they're going to be part of it is, you know, I, mean, I like it. What do you want to see out of Corey this season? What do you feel like you, you like him to focus on? Well, you know, his biggest focus was we want him to be aggressive offensively um, and hunt out those those threes, which I think he's trying to do. But there's also a challenge defensively for him to improve. Um, I mean, I think as he gets more comfortable. Schematically, you know, this is year year three for him, um, and then understanding personnel, and he knows that you know a lot of teams are going to try and match up hunt and pick on him at times. He wants to shake that you know um, that perspective. He wants to be out there in those late game situations. So he wants to prove that you know he's not just a shooter. Um, he's not just a guy with great hair. You know, he can play both sides of the ball. Terrible reputation. <laughs> um, how much growing does he have left to do as someone who's still relatively? Before his prime, I think Winger and Will like to talk about. Yeah, him. I think it's. it's yeah, he still has plenty of growth. Um, there's a maturity there, of course, but uh, growth in his game, yeah, there's plenty. What stood out about the Hawks? It seems like the first few games were very different than the last two. But, uh, yeah, they, you know what? They they're a very aggressive defensive team, and you know I think schematically they're they're more aggressive on the ball, which is a little different than what we've seen in the past. Uh, still playing fast, still have the ability to shoot threes, and then backcourt, of course, is can be dynamic. They're putting up some big numbers, and they put a lot of pressure on you, um, both on all three levels, but in particular in pick and rolls. You know, those combination of those two and Capella, uh, they put a lot of stress on you. Uh, I'm grateful for it. You know, another year of playing basketball at the NBA level. So uh, my parents are in town last night too, so I got to celebrate with them. Oh, nice. mm. Just went back to the house, chilled, talked about it. You know, it was good to see him. Mm. 
As, go ahead. I was going to go right to Atlanta. With Atlanta, what do you feel will be the main key component to success against them? Uh, I feel like everything right now with us is on the defensive end. Uh, you know, I saw DeJounte just had 40 last night. So, um, you know, that's going to be a big test for us, him, Trey Young. You know, they got a lot of other viable options, too. So defensively, is definitely where we need to take our biggest leap. But attack-wise on the offensive side, attacking the basket last night, it seemed to work well in the last three quarters. Is that something that's going to carry over in Atlanta as well? Definitely. Uh, that, you know, cutting, uh, you know, screening, uh, slipping out of the screens early, just you know, all the little stuff, uh, just getting other teammates open, uh, that stuff will work. Johnny, I'm wondering what your thoughts are on the in-season tournament. It seems like, I mean, I know they add playing tournament and everything like that. It seems like the league is going to make a big deal of it. Does it make a difference to you guys? I mean, the games are on the schedule anyway, but is it like an added thing? Uh, definitely. I mean, you know, that's something that, you know, we're, we're competing to win, uh, you know, and starts uh, in Miami. But, you no, know, I mean, we just got to look at it as any other game.